that you guys have probably all been waiting for is and that is my pet room tour I'm finally finished with my pet room other than the fact that I want to put something up on the walls I'm not sure what I want to do with them yet but they kind of bother me that they're so plain I'm not very good at decorating so if you have any ideas please feel free to leave them down below as well as I would like to get a chair to film in right now I'm just filming in front of my desk in my pet room but I would like to get like a comfortable chair in my pet room to kind of lounge around in as well as do sit down videos like what I'm doing right now just talking to the camera um, that would be great so that's all I have to say beforehand so let's get in. I'm just going to go in a big circle this is the front door and also the wood floors are going to be refinished we have a lot of remodeling to do in the house before we even start on the wood floors as well as I would like to paint the trim and the doors white um, I'm not sure about that yet first I'll start off with the big old closet that I have here, lots of storage space which you would need in a pet room. Um, down here I just have some bedding. I don't have any hedgehog bedding at the moment because I just used the last of it, but there's some lizard bedding in there as well. Um, some extra boxes. Um, uh, I was wanting to put a fish tank in there. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. This is some carriers that I need to use if I need to take my pets anywhere. Some fleece blankets um, down there for the hedgehogs as liners as well as my dogs like to have those in their kennels and whatnot. And then some pet towels to clean up, clean up spills and after hedgehog baths. And then up here I just have some more storage. Right there is um, a bunch of dog stuff, um, hedgehog stuff, lizard stuff, more lizard stuff. And then that is um, my Chinese water dragon's leash. Um, also, I hate the yellow in here, so I'll probably repeat that sometime as well. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, this is probably the best part of my whole entire pet room, which is um, my lizard's cage. There's Mac. He's kind of just chilling in here. Um, which is my Chinese water dragon's cage, and he is right there, if you can see. It's not the best well-built thing, but it's like literally my first project, so I'm very happy with it. I'm going to be decorating it as I go. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole video on how I built it um, as well. Um, and then I just have some stuffed animals up there. That was actually my childhood stuffed animal, uh, my favorite stuffed animal. So, And then I have my tripod here and then a nice big old window. Um, this keeps this room very warm. So sometimes during the summer I don't even have to have the heat lamps. I just put the UVB lamp on. It's very humid in here. Um, that's an extra tank that I'm looking to get rid of, and I'll probably put my chair right there once I get it. Hedgehog cages. Um, Hazel is down there. Silva is down there. They actually have two different beddings right now. It's kind of weird. This is like a pine, which isn't the best for them, but I never had a problem with it. Um, and then this has like a lavender scent to it. Um, they have some cat toys in there. They love cat toys. Um, each of them have a wheel right there and um, I don't have a water bottle I use bowls they've never gotten used to a water bottle even before me before I own them and then over here is two more tanks this used to be Romeo's tank which is my bearded dragon if you've watched me for that long and then it was Riddick's tank who's in there right now and now it is Juvie's tank and I am looking to get some more of these emerald swifts is what they're called they look like bearded dragons except for small. He's probably not going to get much bigger than this. <laughs> and then I have a giant stuffed iguana up here. Um, so yeah, also these guys do need a UVB, but I get um, UVB from the sun's rays from this window. I always keep this window open. I never close the shades. Um, so yeah, underneath here on this side, I just have some hedgehog food some little treats and a water bottle for water and then um, lizard stuff those two are roaches those are smaller and those are bigger a water cup and then um, calcium back there and then right here is my blizzard leopard gecko he's in there hiding that's his favorite spot this is where the heat pad is but he used to like that spot best but it's summertime so that's probably why he likes it best over there and this is just a 10 gallon, I'm not sure what this is, 50 gallon I think. This is just, this is handmade. It's like five by three and a half by three, I think. And so yeah, and this is just a little platform thing that my 
boyfriend made way back in high school. And then finally my desk. Under here I just have, this is where a keyboard is supposed to go, but I just have my laptop, some earphones, um, my camera bag, and then um, some tissues. And then over here I have this, actually it's turned inside out. I usually keep it the other way. Um, I just thought this box was really pretty looking, so this is my Madden Girl box just filled with some random stuff, a uh, little notebook. This is my Hello Kitty crown for my 21st birthday, um, another little notebook. This is my binder where I keep pretty much everything I need to know in it, YouTube related. Um, a chameleon tape dispenser my mom and sister got for me, a little candle from Pier 1 some lotion and then this little dragon vase that I thought was so cute so I had to use it as a pencil holder. But yeah that's pretty much my entire pet room. Thanks for watching.